What up everyone, BQ here. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday, enjoying my morning cup of coffee. And I uh, I thought I'd engage with you guys here a little bit and ask a question that's kind of been on my mind the last few days and um, even more so last night when I was watching the NBA, when I was watching my Clippers play. Um, I'm watching this past episode of Impact and then I'm even thinking about Slammiversary too. And many people, many of you have said this when the Motor City Machine Guns came out. It became so clear that there was no one in the audience. You know what I mean? It, it was like we've, been, we've kind of become accustomed to watching the show week to week with no one there in the crowd. But when the Machine Guns came back, then it, it became like crystal clear. Like, oh my God, there's no one there. You know, because we... Um, we're, we're so used to getting that reaction or, the, or, or that pop. And I think sometimes when we're watching the weekly episodic show, you know, you know, you can go back to Orlando and even some of the tapings they've done over the last several years, there's, you know, and you can say it's the audio or whatever, because the audio is part of it, but you watch the shows and even though there is a crowd, sometimes it's, it's not that loud in there, you know? But when you get a return or something like that, or, or some kind of big debut, you usually get a pretty pretty huge reaction. So I'm watching, you know, Slammiversary, I'm watching this last episode of Impact, and I'm just thinking to myself, okay, AEW's show is pretty loud, you know, with wrestlers, and I think they let some fans in. Um, it, it sounds about as loud as a normal Impact taping, to be honest, uh, when there was an audience, when there was, you know, a few hundred people there. And then I'm watching, I watch some WNBA games, I watch some NBA games, some baseball games. And everybody seemed to have their own unique spin on empty stadium, empty arena sports, you know. And I was watching like the the Clippers and Lakers play last night, and they had you know virtual fans, which you know obviously Impact probably can't afford to do something like that. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying they should. And then there's a you know use of music and um, you know different camera angles that we don't normally see in a regular game. And then there was piped in crowd noise and they did that. They've done that with baseball, with, uh, with a WNBA and then baseball has the cardboard cutouts of the fans where they're actually buying, um, seats. And then in a lot of cases if the foul ball hits them, they get the ball or whatever hits the cutout. But what I'm, what I'm getting at, it just seems like everybody is putting their own spin on, you know, empty arena, empty stadium sports and, and you watch impact and it, it literally is empty arena wrestling. I mean, it's <laughs> on paper, empty arena wrestling, what you expect it to look and sound like, that's what Impact is. That's that's what it's doing, you know? And this is not a knock on, on the program or, or the matches or anything going on because it's the show, I think, has been really good for a while, you know? And people were a little indifferent on the Wrestle House stuff, but I, I, was, I will say about 80% of the people I've, heard from and with feedback really liked it you know there's some that didn't so what could they do to make it different you know are they or do you think i don't even know that they're trying you know what i mean i'm not saying they're not trying to put on a good product i just don't think they feel like we need to present the show any different than it is right now and the wrestle house stuff kind of helped and you know you would think they would just do some more outside of the arena stuff you know i don't i don't want to say Final Deletion or uh, Undead Realm type of stuff, but but just more stuff outside of the arena, you know, like they did that Diener's match, for instance. That that was one uh, Diener's in the North, you know, uh, and then there's those really silly North segments. So I'm not gonna say they haven't totally tried. There's there's been a little bit of effort, but overall, I'm just watching more because you know we're seeing sports come back. I'm seeing more and more effort from you know watching these different programs, different sports, whatever. And, you know, they're trying to adjust and they're trying to make the the viewing experience something, you know, like you want to watch it. You, you, you won't get bored, you know? And I don't think that the commentary of Josh and, and Madison is strong enough. So, so if you watch some of these other sports, baseball, basketball, the common, the, the, the uh, commentary team, the broadcast team has, has had to talk a little bit more than they normally would. You know, they got to fill, fill a little more space because you don't have as much noise coming back at you. And I don't think Josh and Madison are strong enough to do that. Even though I, I really have praised Madison's work 
you know, I, I think she does an awesome job. And the two of them together, when I criticize Impact's commentary, I don't think Josh is bad at his job by any stretch of the imagination. Like, if you want to know how difficult it is to do that, just put on a show on silent and you try to comment, you know, uh, provide play by play through it. It's, it's difficult and especially difficult to do without stumbling over your words. So I'm not saying he, he's he's bad. You know, I just don't think they are strong enough as a team to to, you know, provide that soundtrack with nothing else going on. So I've been kind of babbling here for about five and a half minutes, but you know, I definitely want to know from you guys, do you do you think that there's something they can do, something they should do? Are you cool with how you see it on, on TV right now? Because as I said, when you think the term empty arena wrestling, that's exactly what impact has given you. You know, and I feel like it's there's not a lot of life behind some of the stuff going on, you know? And I think it's been more obvious to me because now that we have the good brothers you know, the machine guns, you know, and think of EC3 when he attacked Moose, some stuff that we should get some some serious pops and crowd reaction that we haven't haven't been accustomed to over the last several months or last year, whatever you want to say. Because we're getting those bigger stars now and that we're not getting that reaction, to me, it's like deafening how quiet it is in there. So uh, let me know what you guys think about just Impact's presentation of Empty Arena Wrestling, if there's something else they should do. Uh, to make things more appealing, more attractive, more engaging, or if you're cool with what they do, like you're, you're just like, Hey, I'm, you know, I love this show. I'm watching it. It's all good. I got no complaints. So definitely let me know. This is your boy BQ and I'm out. Peace.